What's up guys, welcome back to Let's Play Max Payne 3, my name's Matty. Uh, before I get started on this part of this video, uh, or this part of this series, or Let's Play if you want to call it that, <laughs> uh, I just want to explain some things. Uh, I've previously recorded this part before, I actually played through this chapter, up until chapter 5. Uh, but something went wrong and my voice didn't get recorded and the sound sort of bugged out. Uh, so I'm doing it again, in hopes that it doesn't screw up this time. Uh, but that's fraps for you, so, you know, it's known to not work sometimes, and among other things. Uh, but either way, uh, so you'll see here that I've actually found all the clues in this level. Um, and I found one part of this golden 1911 here. Uh, I'll show you where I found those. And I also got an achievement, uh, which is behind these windows. Here it is. Uh, clear the hallway of lasers. I'll show you how to get that. Uh, when we get to it. But uh, for now, I'm just going to get started here. So in the last video, we escaped from the stadium, we lost the money, but we found out where Fabiana is being held captive. And uh, now we're in some sort of flashback. We're in a bar in New York City, and I'm guessing this is going to this is going to tell us uh, how uh, Passos took Max Payne from his life in New York City and took him to Sao Paulo as a bodyguard. So uh, let's let's get on here. All right, so this is oh, shit. I see you hiding under that pool table. Nice. Okay. So this is the Max Payne that I remember. Like from Max Payne 2, this this feels very similar to that. Like Max in his old school fucking style clothes. Oh shit. And just like the crummy New York settings and all that, you know, like it's just, oh man, this is really nostalgic. I did play Max Payne 2. I didn't play it very much, but I do remember what it felt like playing. Uh, just, you know, the story and the setting. It's pretty good. So, uh, uh... So this is where I found the first part of the Golden Gun. The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. Okay. This looked like goodbye. So it's right here on the floor, guys, if you want to know what that is. That's where I found it. So let's head down here and regroup. Kill the rest of these fucks. Fucking army down here, but there ain't much left shit! Guys over the counter there Let's too. Come on. Okay, is there any bullets for that? Oh shit! You're down, son. Okay. Time to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Might make the pain of leaving somewhat easier. Right, so I've, I've changed some options too. I've lowered the graphics a little bit just to make it run a little bit better uh, while recording. And I've also made this, turned on this option to uh, put like a white silhouette the around only way my items first that you meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. Okay. To that here. There'll be a group of guys up here surrounding by a car. Or surrounding a car. Oh my god, holy shit! I just wrecked that dude's face. I ain't waiting to see who else shows up. Come on, 
I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. Okay. So I'm um, pretty sure there's no other pieces of the golden gun around here. I did explore this area before. So I'm just going to keep going forward here. This easy for us, are they? Stay over here. Cover me. Yes, sir. He could have been setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. Okay. So he's heading to the roof to give us some backup. blow these cars up. There goes one. <laughs> oh, that sucked. <laughs> the bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. Nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> Can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. <laughs> I don't think you that's gonna be an option, Max. You! I want an every so this is the father of that guy that we killed in the bar, that loudmouth kid or whatever. About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! That? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Yeah, that looks about right. Hey! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Okay. Snipers. Great. Alright, that's them taken care of. Shouldn't be any more. So we'll grab the shotgun here. Now the first clue in this level is right here on the table in Max's apartment. So I've already inspected it so he won't really, you know, say anything. No in a monologue there. But uh, that's the first clue, so remember that. Hidden away yours. for a rainy day. This pistol as well. Alright, so now, to get the achievement in this level that i just shown you guys before, you have to kill all the snipers on this roof. Um, and it was pretty easy the first time I did it, but I know you can't do it from here because you just get shot too easy, so. I'm just gonna run, I'm 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 gonna run. Okay, we'll hang here for a second. Now 
we should run back. I think that'll be a good plan. Oh, oh. Now you might be wondering why I'm running back and forth like this, and the answer is simple. If that guy was still over there, and I came here to shoot like this, he would actually have line of sight of me. Uh, so that's why I decided to stick to this side, on the far end uh, of each side, if that makes sense. I'm sure I explained that horribly bad, but that's alright. That's all of the snipers down. So that's how you get the achievement, that's how I got it. fancy green light on my gun. Just the stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I had wanted to live so bad in years. Okay. So, I'll just explain that one more time, just so you guys understand what I mean. So, you start from over here, and when all the snipers are on the roof, if you come and you take cover here, the sniper on that far side over there, he actually has line of sight to shoot you, if you can see that. And, uh, this is how I tried to do it before, and I just died heaps of times. And I tried to go up to this window as well, and the same thing happened. So, I found that the best thing to do is to run straight over here and take cover behind this wall here this is the last window that you can actually see out of and take them out one by one and then run back over here in between the second and third window and hug it. make sure you hug it this side here, the left side of the wall here and uh, that's how I did it, that's how I did the achievement and it was, as you, as you just saw, it was pretty easy so I just saved you guys a bunch of trial and error <laughs> Hey, you fucking dead! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shh, my boy. Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be cleansed. Oh, cleansed in fire! No, oh, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that, but I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for. Okay. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. So, I've got no idea who that guy was. I'm not sure if he was a character in one of the first two games, but whoever he was, he just helped us out a great deal. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Okay, so this is his apartment. And the last two clues are in here. There's one on the wall here, some newspaper clippings. So, it seems like he was pretty interested in Max Payne. And the final clue in this level is over here on the table. And uh, that's, I guess that's how he made that explosion he just did. He just, you know, got some blueprints for some pipe bombs or whatever. And uh, went out with a bang. There's a weird TV show here that you can watch. This is just weird. I've got no idea what the hell this is. <laughs> Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our hero on a date at the arcade with Bicycle Helmet Girl. Yeah, we're not on a date. We join our hero on a top secret training mission. That's more like it. When, in the blink of an eye, the trickster sussy appears <laughs> and grabs mm -hmm. Bicycle Helmet Girl. Uh, help me, Baseball Bat. <laughs> I'll save you. Base is loaded. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. Then suddenly, the trickster Sassy presents his latest evil trick: a devilish aging ray. Oh no, Triple B! Don't get unnaturally old before your time. Don't worry, Bicycle Helmet Girl. I'll never get old. Oh, Drat! I got old. Hit a grand slam and save me, Triple B. Oh. Oh, gee willikers! <laughs> How will our hero hit a home run when he can't even run the bases anymore? What will he do next? <sighs> Find out in the next episode of The Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy! Hippos get hungry in the middle of the night. Yeah. Hmm. 
I've got no idea. <laughs> that was just incredibly eerie and creepy all at the same time, so... Let's leave this apartment. Right, so the was going to have to be lowered up. in the building. That was something the tenants committee could thank me for. Okay, well, thanks, Brewer. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat Ooh, down shit. and let myself burn right there. Okay, that's them taken care of. Now, there's one thing in this game that I do not understand, and that is... That is, as I was saying, is how to get up these stupid ledges. Like, how the fuck do you get up here? I've got no idea. The only way I found out to get up here is by doing this. And it just seems like a waste of bullet time. <laughs> Him. Didn't miss him. Fire over Hoboken. Felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. Damn it! See, you, do you guys see what I mean? There has to be like an easier way of getting up here. Like, what the fuck, Max? Get up! Thank you. Like, that's Coming just ridiculous. Newark Airport. Get right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. That does. Ow. But it hurt us a lot, so. Did that reveal anything hidden? Max, get up! Oh my god, Max. Thank you. Well, I guess we could shoot that if we wanted to take out the enemies all in one quick shot, but I didn't notice that last time. Get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I want to hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Kind of Up something. there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? Uh oh. God damn it! Fuck! There we go. So if you don't kill all those guys, you just get shot as soon as you land on this ledge here. I found that out the hard way before. <laughs> you need some help there, brother? I need his help. Five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this has been—it's almost been 20 minutes now, so there I'm gonna wrecks cut this off around, here. And not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you cross the road to avoid. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some ammo for this MP5 I got here. Pretty sure it's an MP5. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut this off here, guys. And uh, alone, I'll see you guys so in the next fun. part. All right, Passos. God damn it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.